Sheridan and her son is dead. You'll find a way. She's <sighs> gonna kill her. She's gonna rip her heart into pieces. And all she's dreamed about is getting Marty back from Beth. Boy, you must have been terrified. Marty! My son's in that car. No, Luis, you can't go. You'll get burned. You could be killed. I gotta get him no! out of there. Luis! Daddy's coming. My son. My son's burned alive. Don't think that way. He's in heaven now. There's no pain there. Yeah. At least Beth's in hell where she belongs. Oh, Sharon, I'm t it's gonna kill her. It's gonna kill her. Oh, what have I done? Don't, don't blame yourself. Look at me, Luis. This wasn't your fault. This is totally my fault. If I had just believed Sharon when she insisted that Marty was our son, no, I couldn't do that. And Beth kidnapped him, and, and now he's dead. Oh, God, you know, along with the dream that Sheridan and I will be back together, that we'd be a family again. You know, I have to stop doing this. I gotta stop. Okay. You seem to be strong, right? Sheridan needs my support. Oh. Like, it wasn't bad enough that she's gonna find out that Marty is dead, and now she's gonna find out that her father had a hand in this, too? Uh, uh. My, my grampy? What are you saying? Oh, that's right. You don't, you don't know yet. Uh, Luis, my grandfather is in a coma. He couldn't possibly have had anything to do with this Alistair. nightmare. Alistair is not in a coma anymore. He, he's, uh, he's alive and well, and he's out there pulling all the strings. Where are they? Mm. <sighs> Ethan, any minute, our lives are gonna change forever. Crane security's gonna walk through that door and they're bringing someone special any second now. And you think that someone special is JT Cornell? Yes, it is JT. And he's gonna confirm everything that I've told you. He's gonna prove to you that Gwen Rebecca outed you as a Bennett, that she has been lying to you, Ethan, for years. I won't believe it, well, Teresa. You have to believe it. You will be forced to believe it. And then you're gonna realize that your marriage to Gwen is a fraud and you will come back to me. And then we can make up all those years of happiness that Gwen stole from us. I mean it, Alistair. Get away from the chalice or I will kill you. You don't have the gut. Shoot him, Whitney. Shoot the old man dead. Whitney, you must stop the evil door, the folk, the church. All of mankind is at stake. Kill him. Kill him before Alistair gets the chance to use the chalice to kill us all. Now, you won't shoot me. Whitney, you're the innocent one. Weak and pathetic. Damn it, Whitney, shoot him. Stop it. Do it. Not Stop. Do it. Stop. Do it. Not Do it. Stop. I won't let you win, Alistair. I won't let you destroy us. <laughs> God, she really did it. Whitney, wake up. Are you okay? Jack? He did it. He did it. Oh my God, what have I done? I shot Alistair. I took a life. Oh my God, it's the greatest sin of all. No, no sin. Not when you're serving God. The devil. Dios mio, it's unbelievable.
I can't believe this. What? No. No, no, that's impossible. Alistair's gone. But how? I, I shot him. I know I did. No, he has to be here. I mean, how could he have just disappeared? Evil. It is evil. No, no, there has to be a logical explanation, a, a secret entrance, a, a hidden door, something. No, he has to be here. Wait. No, no, we are too late. How do you know? God's gift allows for me to see many things. <laughs> the evil one has escaped. Teresa, look, um, you always, always seem to pin your hopes on these freakish turns of circumstance, okay? And you know what happens usually? What? Your hopes get blown out of the water. That's what happens. No, no, not this time. JT's gonna walk through that door, and the moment that he does, it's the beginning of our new lives together. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God, thank you, God. See, now you're gonna see that Gwen's not the good woman you think she is. Thank God you are here. Oh, what a welcome, Teresa. Hi. Oh my God. What <laughs> I you... missed you. I missed you. I missed you. I had to come and see you. Oh God, it's Hi. so wonderful to see you. Mm. 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 To look is a waste of time. The evil one has escaped. There's a secret passageway, but no, there's no way. I shot Alistair. Look. Here's where the bullet hit. Whitney, you must have, you must have missed. Damn it. Don't curse in this blessed place. I'm sorry, sister. So when Whitney fainted, he must have seized the moment and got away before any of us could notice. He is a devil. How could I have been such a fool? This is all my fault. Hey. Hey, you didn't know. You okay? You're too good to recognize such evil. Look, look at me, just let's count our blessings that you're here with me in one piece. Whitney, yeah, I was so scared for you. I mean, I searched this city from top to bottom. I know. And I could have come to you, I could have helped you, but he told me not to. You know, when we, when we spoke down in the catacombs, I, I really thought you were gonna hurt yourself. I almost did. That monk, Alistair, convinced me to sacrifice myself. Chad, he could have killed me right then. Why did he let me live? Dear God, Whitney, what has he done to you? He was so persuasive. I mean, he even had me feeling sorry for him. He said that we were always gonna be sinners, Chad, and that one of us had to die to prevent us from sinning again. And then when he didn't kill me, he said if I didn't help him, I wouldn't be able to atone for my sin of incest and that both of our souls would be condemned to hell forever. I can't even believe, I believe such a strange story like that. I... So everything you did was to protect me. I couldn't let anything happen to you. You sacrificed so much, Whitney. And you for me. Only was never enough. If only I was able to do more. I can't believe you're you're here. <laughs> you heard me. Get the word out. Okay, when we spoke on the phone earlier, this is the person that you were bringing up? That's right. Okay, what happened to JT Cornell? Because I gave orders for Crane Security to find him. As far as I know, he's still out there somewhere. Well, go, 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 please. Wait in the hall, please, and, I'll, and wait till I give you further orders. Go, please. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I was he like, so rude. How did you get here so quickly? Well, you know, my mother still is married to Julian. So one phone call, I was on the crane jet. I wish I would have known. I could have called the pilot myself. You had to cancel the flight, no doubt. Honey, I was worried. I've heard all these horror stories about what's going on in Rome. I had to come here to support you. Yeah, right. Your mom sent you here so you could shut up JT Cornell. 
Is she still on that? She won't stop. No, I'm not gonna stop. And you know what, Gwen? JT told Ethan that you and your slut mother were the ones who sent the information to his paper. Okay, hey, whoa, enough. Listen, Gwen, I don't believe a word that guy said. I mean, Teresa offered him 10 million bucks I... to say that. <laughs> it's fine, I'm used to fending off her lies, but I am curious about one thing, though. You know, when I wanted to know your room number at the desk, they said you were staying with Teresa. Why is that? I'll tell you why that is. There were no rooms available, apparently, and I've been sleeping on the sofa. And when we all found out that we were in danger, we all agreed it's not a good idea for any of us to be alone. Ah. Uh -huh. So you decided that you were going to protect Teresa? Yes. Nothing happened, mm -hmm. Gwen. Didn't say it did. Just. Not surprised that Teresa would take advantage of any opportunity to try to get close to you. Look, it's been a terrible situation for everyone. I know. Just wish you would have chosen to protect Simone. Honey, we've all been in danger here. Of course you have, especially after what Sheridan found out. Sh what, are, what are you talking about? Wait, you guys don't know? No, know what? Ethan, Sheridan went to Alistair's nursing home, or what she thought was his nursing home, but Alistair's not there. He's not in a coma. Wait, 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 what? What are you, are you, that's impossible. Alistair is not in a coma. The whole thing was a trick. Are you telling me that Alistair is up and around and, and spreading his evil all over the place? Yep, he's perfectly fine. Oh my God. Oh my God, we were right. We were right. I mean, we all thought that this plot, to have all of us here in Rome, had Alistair's fingerprints all over it, but we didn't think it could be possible because he was in a coma. Everything that has happened here leads right back to Alistair. And why? And what does he want from us? <laughs> no, it can't be true. My grandfather has nothing to do with this. He's sick. He's in a coma. I'm the nursing home confirmed it. Fancy, I'm sorry. But he's out of the coma, okay? That is, if he ever was even in one. And the guy who's lying in the hospital bed is just some other poor patient who was in a coma, and Alistair had his face fitted with a latex mask to make it look like himself. But think about it. It's perfect. If we all thought Alistair was helpless lying in some hospital bed, he could be out there free, roaming the world without us worrying about what he was up to. I, I can't believe this. Fancy. Sheridan got the doctor who's in charge of the nursing home to admit what Alistair made him do. So he is okay? Yeah, he's okay. He's okay, all right? He's okay to terrorize the rest of us. I'm sorry, Louise. This is just really hard for me to accept. I mean, I know all of you hate him, and I have to admit, after what I've heard, I suppose I should too, but he has been nothing but kind to me. And why didn't he tell me? I've been so worried about him. All right, look, I am not going to tell you how you were supposed to feel about him. But don't expect any sympathy from me about that bastard, OK? If, if you are right about all of this, why? What does my grandfather have to gain by torturing all of know. us like this? I don't know, OK? But I promise you one thing, it's only going to get worse. Whatever it is he is up to, it can all be good. You are my passion for life. So Sheridan thought something looked strange about Alistair's face when she went up to take a closer look. His face was a mask. She pulled it off. It was a mask that was fitted on another coma patient. I, I, don't even, I, I can't believe this. I just I don't even want to believe this. <sighs> Alistair is alive and kicking. I'm going to kill the doctor of that nursing home. We should have known. We should have trusted our suspicions. It's a brilliant plan. Who would have suspected that Alistair was healthy when his body was lying there unconscious for everyone to see? I think I'm going to be sick. Are, are you really sure that this is true? Listen, if you don't believe me, ask Sheridan, because she saw it with her own two eyes. She was trying to call Luis when I was leaving, and she couldn't get through to him from Harmony. That's why I wanted to get here as quickly as I could. Alistair's here in Rome. He's just lying in wait before he strikes. Well, honey, you know what? You should have stayed at home where it's safe. 
No, I wanted to come here and help. When a husband and wife are in trouble, they stick together. And who's watching my daughter? My daughter is safe up at the mansion with the nanny. Honey, I've got a really bad feeling that something horrible is about to happen. But what? I mean, if Alistair went to the trouble to fake his own coma, God knows he's probably up to something really awful. I just can't, I can't I, I just, I simply cannot believe this. You need to believe it. Because your loving husband is alive and kicking. And I can guarantee that when he reveals himself, the first thing he's going to want is you back in his bed. Gwen, come on. I'd rather be dead. Say you're right about all of this. Oh, uh, it's all true. It makes no sense. What's the upside for my grandfather? What could he do in secret he couldn't do out in the open? He's one of the most powerful men oh, on the planet. come on, Fancy. This is classic Alistair. No. Admit it. I heard about New Year's. You were there. This is the same sort of sick plot that he loves to get involved in. I mean, it's perfect. Think about it. We all think that he's lying helpless in a coma. All the while, he is just drawing us closer and closer to whatever evil plan he has. But why? What does he want? Well, that's easy. He wants to destroy us all. No. No, my Grampy loves me. Okay, fine. Maybe he loves you, but certainly not all of us. Well, I need to talk to him. Where is he? Where? Well, you think if I knew that, I'd be here? Well, he is in Rome, right? He must be. Why else would he have drawn us all here? I don't know. I mean, certainly he could be in Rome. He... No doubt if he was, he would be in disguise. He could be anyone, anywhere. Yeah, you know, maybe he was watching us when... What? What is it? That monk. What about him? I don't know. There's something familiar about him. Hey, you! Stop! Oh, no. What? Alistair is here in Rome. I saw him. Fancy, I'm sure that it was him. Now all we have to do is find him. Chad, I'm so sorry. Hey, you're safe in my arms. That's all that matters. That's all that ever matters. Open the door. Oh, it's a Swiss guard. Go, let him in. Father, we have been hard at work against a great evil. What has happened here? What we feared, Father. The deceiver was here, and he had the chalice. God in Himmel. I feared as much. How did this man of evil break this unbreakable code and steal this precious relic? Heavenly Father. Please forgive me. It's all my fault. Alistair told me lies for weeks and weeks, and I believed him. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but I'm a novice. And, and he appeared to me in the convent and duped me into believing that he was God himself. And then later on, he had me believing that he was acting for God to help Holy Mother of the Church. I was a fool. The lies of the devil that come out of his mouth are as sweet as honey. I didn't know. I swear I thought I was doing good, not helping to destroy the church. You are the innocent one that sister told us would come. See, si, Dad. Calm yourself. You've done no wrong. The deceiver used you as we knew he would. Where is he now? We tried to get him, but he escaped. You saved the chalice. It's in the fire. The deceiver tried to read its secret inscriptions. I just thank God he failed. Mm. Bring it to me. No. The chalice is gone.
all of them. They're not even aware that they're in the presence of the oldest relic the church ever possessed. And now the chalice is mine. They should turn their backs on that altar and pray to me. I am made God on earth. <laughs> Well, you know, we can't just sit here, so I, I'm going to call Luis and make sure he knows what's going on with Alistair. Is it all right if I leave you two ladies here alone for a minute? Honey, of course it is. At a time like this, we all need to stick together. Come on. Aren't you even going to ask me if I had a nice flight? Knock it off, Gwen. We both know that you're not here because you're concerned about Ethan or Alistair. You're here because you're frightened to death. Do I look frightened? I don't think so. Well, you should be, because I'm really close to finding J.T. Cornell, and when I do, you and your none-too-well-preserved mother are dead meat. He's and exposed you both as the liars that you are. Oh, you are absurd. You can't even believe what comes out of your mouth. I'm bringing you down, bitch. Oh, such, such gutter talk, Teresa. Listen, you can curse the hotel down if you want, I don't really care, because it is so clear that Ethan doesn't believe a word you say, and he's not going to listen to JT either, if you can find him, which you won't be able to, because he's long gone by now. Well, now, if you really believe that, then you wouldn't have flown on your broomstick all the way to Rome, right? You're worried, and you should be, because you can't stop me from finding JT Cornell. I've got Crane Security searching for him, and I've offered to pay $50 million to any man or woman who brings him to me. $50 million, when you should think about that, you should think of the motivation. Pretty soon, JT and I will be buying you a one-way ticket to divorce court. It's you. I said to never come here unless it was an emergency. What is it, Mr. Cornell? Good God. You're alive! Alistair must have grabbed the chalice when he escaped. This is a disaster. It must be found. The chalice holds the greatest power of mankind, but it must be used for good in the wrong hands. It could be the destruction of the world. Fifty million dollars to the lucky person who brings JT to me. And you know Crane Security only hires the best, so... I don't know. Any minute there's gonna be a knock at that door and... Life as you know it will be over. Ooh. Well, Teresa, I guess I would be frightened if I hadn't taken steps to protect myself. You can't do anything, Gwen. Really? You know, you are so obsessed with your own personal ends that you haven't thought this thing through, have you? Uh, such as? What, what, are you not listening? Teresa, Alistair is alive, which means that you are no longer in control of Crane Industries. Why on earth would Crane Security take orders from you? 
Because Crane Security doesn't know that Alistair's alive and well, so until they do, they work for me. Oh, oops. <laughs> oops. What? See, I just got so excited riding up in the elevator with that Crane security guard. I kind of told him everything. So by now, all of Crane security knows Alistair is alive and well. Bad news. I can't get through to Luis or Noah. I think that weird lightning storm shorted out everybody's cell phone. Teresa, what's wrong? When? She's trying to stop me from finding JT Cornell. She's trying to stop you from learning the truth. Honey, do I really have to stand here and listen to this nonsense? She's just upset that I told the Crane security guard that Alistair's alive. Oh, man. Where's that man in the hall? I gave orders for him to stay right here. Well, it's no surprise, Teresa. Now that Alistair is back from the dead, why would they take orders from him? You witch. And now that Alistair has all of his power back, Teresa, it looks like you have none at all. If you saw my grandfather, why didn't you say anything? He was in disguise. Well, are you sure you've seen him? No, well, we can call it a hunch, OK? The man was dressed as a monk. Luis, this is Rome. You can't throw a rock without hitting a monk or a priest or a nun. Look, I'm telling you, it wasn't a monk. Okay, I had, God, I had the strangest feeling that it was it was Alistair. I knew it. I knew it was him. What if I've seen him? What if he saw me and walked right past me? I'll find that monk inside. Oh, God, that's that. I know where to find him. I know where to find Alistair. You're supposed to be half dead in a coma. That's what I wanted everyone to believe. Why are you here? A long time ago, you told me if I was ever in trouble to go to this church. Didn't think I would actually find you. Well, this is your lucky day, then. Do they ever shut up? Why don't you just stick to the point? Yes, yes, sir. This is an emergency. I need your help right now. Teresa has an army of people out there looking for me. I have no safe place to go. I can't escape. Well, perhaps you didn't try hard enough. No, 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 you don't understand. Every way I turn, I am being chased and followed. It's getting crazy. Teresa, she is like this bulldog. Hey, She's... hey, you are speaking about my wife. Yes, yes, bad image, but it's serious. In trying to escape, I nearly killed Ethan <laughs> Winthrop. No, 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 don't kill anyone. Those people live and die. I'm my command, and so do you. Do you understand that? Is it yes, clear? Yes, it's clear. It's clear. But, sir, won't you please help me get out of Rome before Teresa finds me? Sir? Can I help you? Possible. I think I can do anything now. <laughs> I, I can feel the evil, but I cannot see where he is. But I do know the deceiver, the man named Alistair, he does uh, possess uh, the chalice. I could have told her that. Shh, the Pope. <sighs> the chalice must be returned to our care. There is no other option. The power of the chalice is incalculable. Before he stole it, he tried to read the inscription, but he has not been able to finish it. Good. That means he's not yet in possession of the holy power. The chalice we must retrieve before he 
reads the entire inscription. Mm. It is the only hope for mankind. Mm. It's that powerful? If this man, Alistair, reads all the words, he could destroy the church forever. Wow, did you see his shoes? Fabulous. Look deep within you. Can you not see the location of the chalice? <laughs> but don't I make... Then our work is all the harder. We must find it. What does the inscription say on the chalice? Paloma. No, it is a good question. I do not know, my dear. I never dared try to read it. The temptation to use such a power is too much for any man, myself included. But they're just words, right? Is there anything more powerful than words? These ancient words unlock forces not seen in this world since the days of the Old Testament, when God fought the forces of the Dark One to a standstill. If this evil man learns the entire inscription, he will be imbued with more power than any mortal man can bear. He will have the strength of God and the strength to destroy the works of God, even this very planet. Well, then we need to find him and find him now. Mr. Crane, did you hear me? Teresa, Teresa is looking for me. All of Crane's security is looking for me. You know what it'll mean if she finds me. Teresa, my Teresa. Lovely, isn't she? Sir? You know, so young, so tender, so defiant. Before, when I was just a mere man, I even had to struggle to uh, overwhelm her. But now I'm going to win all the time. I'm going to miss the chase, though. You see, absolute power does have its drawbacks. But, you know, it's going to be exciting to have her back in my bed again. And just think of you know, the things I can make her do. And I'm sure she's going to be willing to obey the commands of the God. <laughs> a God. So who are you calling? I'm calling Crane Security, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to the head of, of, of security and then they're gonna fix this situation. They're gonna put a man outside that door and they're gonna double the number of men looking for JT Risa, Cornell. Lisa, don't go overboard. I'm not going overboard, okay? This is my life we're talking about and I'm gonna prove to you that that woman, your wife, is a liar if it's the last thing I do. Do I have to stand here and keep listening to this? Yes, hello, uh, this is Teresa Crane calling. Can you connect me with Crowley, please? Uh, what do you mean he's not gonna take my call? This is Teresa Crane, his boss. Teresa, what'd they say? Uh, they, they said that there's this email, a worldwide email that says that Alistair's alive and well and that my orders, my orders are supposed to be canceled. I'm sorry. That means nobody is looking for JT Cornell. Why would they waste their time chasing phantoms for you? Fine. There's no reason to twist the knife, all right? I'm sorry, Ethan. It's just a little too tempting, because usually I'm the one getting tortured. My plans and my sacrifices. Excuse me, but what if Alistair wants retribution here? I mean, Teresa, you could be in a lot of danger. Honey, I think things are looking up. We know that Alistair is behind this mystery. It's always better to fight a known adversary, right? Look, I got us the room next door. Let's go check it out, OK? Gwen, she could be in a lot of danger, okay? Alistair could come after her. Alistair is not gonna hurt her. He wants to keep her safe in his bed forever. Teresa, I'll be next door if you need me, all right? Let's just go, because I know Teresa's got a whole lot of thinking to do now that her latest set of uh, lies haven't panned out. I know she's got to plan something else. Unless, of course, you think you can get more mileage out of this whole J.T. Cornell nonsense. Oh, 
know this isn't over, one. Not by a long shot. Because I'm going to find JT, and I'm going to prove the truth, and I'm going to get Ethan back. I have to. I'm right. I know where Alistair is, and he's not getting away from me this time. Well, I'm coming with you. No. Why? Beth is dead. She can't hurt me. And whatever my grandfather's done, he'd never hurt me. Maybe not. Well, what's the problem? You just don't get it, do you? You still love Alistair. So? That doesn't mean I can't help you find him. I don't just want to find him. I want to kill him. And when I do, I don't think you want to be there for it. Please. He killed my son. So I kill him. An eye for an eye. Life for life. I have to know the truth about my grandfather. Come with me, then. Teresa, all I can think about right now is killing Alistair. Very soon you will release your secrets.